his annual televised Q&A session with the public in the last hour with questions ranging from domestic issues to the prospect of World War III. Artis Murad Gazdiev has been across uh, what's been happening over the afternoon. Um, good afternoon to you again, Murad. Just tell us then, what were the, uh, the main issues that were raised? Well, it's difficult to sum up four hours and 20 minutes of questions and uh, answers, but uh, some of the things that really stood out was what Vladimir Putin had to say about uh, foreign affairs. And uh, here, for example, uh, Vladimir Putin recently presented a slew of super weapons. We're talking here about bigger, more powerful, faster uh, nuclear missiles, ballistic missiles, as well as hypersonic missiles, which travel at six, seven kilometers a second through the uh, atmosphere about nuclear powered missiles and uh, one uh, viewer challenged Vladimir Putin uh, saying you know does this stuff really exist there are those who doubt new Russian weapons are soon going to be put into service back in 2004 they were doubting the avant-garde system but now we see it in Syria and that's not everything that we're planning to produce and put into service as I said in my address we will speak out soon the president stressed that this isn't about saber rattling or waving your guns around or, uh, you know, measuring anything with anyone. But this is about parity. This is about making sure that Russia has a deterrent, that uh, no enemy, no uh, potential opponent can overcome Russia. Uh, and here, another particularly worried uh, viewer asked Vladimir Putin, how close we are to World War Three. You know, you can recall Einstein's words. He said, I don't know with what weapons World War Three will be fought, but World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. The understanding of the fact that World War Three may be the end of modern civilization must deter us from extreme actions on the international scene. All this war talk and fears is no surprise given current tensions between the East and the West, between Russia uh, and the United States and uh, its allies. And uh, people ask, you know, when is this going to end? When is this uh, division going to end, these sanctions, these restrictions? And Vladimir Putin said that they won't until uh, we all treat each other as equal. We're not going to just cover one new creepy technology, but four, and two of them are going to blow your mind, okay? And they're the last two. We're going to cover those last and literally blow your mind. One of them I found yesterday, and I was like, I couldn't even believe that he actually came out with this. I saw like one obscure sci-fi movie that covered this topic, one, all right? And then the one that came out today is even bigger and even more ridiculous. I, I can't, I just like, what the heck, dude? <laughs> They just keep coming out with these insane technologies. Facebook just got caught with a patent. All right. This patent. <laughs> this patent's been hidden. All right. This patent's been hidden. While you're on Facebook, they have a patent that actually watches your face through the camera webcam. Okay. You remember that picture of Mark Zuckerberg with him by his laptop and it's actually him doing a video and he had like tape over his webcam now you know why okay now you know why this is why because they had a patent that they were hiding about how they they would look at your face while you're watching facebook and you're at a certain section on facebook and if you smile while looking at an image they're going to show you more of those images so they're checking your face with the webcam to see how you react to a picture all right. <laughs> so if you if you if like there's a picture on the page on Facebook, you're scrolling down and, and you like look away, that means they're going to show you less of that. Of course, some you know some zombies, you know, which is some of society, or actually maybe a lot of society at this point, they're going to be like, oh, this is so cool. Look, they're going to know what I like just looking at my face. Uh, I'm smiling, so that means I like that picture on Facebook. And that's you don't see how that could go awry. You don't see how that could go awry. I, how in that, how in the world can you not see how that could go awry? Um, gee, could they just turn it on and watch what you're doing all the time? I don't know. I doesn't Facebook with, work with a certain governmental entity? I think uh, it starts with an N, a three-letter. Uh, yeah, think about it.
all right? And the next two are even more ridiculous, all right? This one's crazy. This is on National Geographic, all right? Memories can be altered in mice. Humans are next, all right? So, yeah, what are we talking about here? We're talking about them being able to mo uh, alter your memories. They now have tested it on mice successfully, have been able to alter their memories. So, ah, uh, yeah, so what, what could happen with this? Let's just think about this for a minute, all right? I saw the sci-fi show where the only privacy anyone had once they had this type of technology was the hacker who knew how to hide themselves and delete people's memories of them and hide their own, they used an alias as their name. So what I'm saying is in this sci-fi movie, everybody's memories was uploaded to some sort of cloud, all right? Everybody's memories. And there was privacy settings you could set on your own memories, but the government could look at everybody's memories and everything that they see through their eyes as well because they, you know, they had like implants in their eyes, which of course they've come out with that technology as well, by the way, and they've been using it on the military some. But uh, so if you have this implant in your eye, they could actually see everything you see. They could see your memories, everything. And of course, you had privacy settings for, you know, family and friends who could see what you thought of. And the only people that had any privacy whatsoever were these hackers that knew how to delete their, 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 their memory from this cloud and somehow were off grid. All right. So this is OK. And of course, I'm getting into sort of a sci fi, you know, uh, fantasy a little bit, but actually, what will this lead to? I mean, think about it. Memories can be altered in mice. Humans are next. You know, and they're going to sell this as a good thing. Okay, what they're going to sell this as is like if you have some trauma, you had some really terrible memory, you know, some attack on you, or you saw some catastrophe, or something horrible happened, that you can erase those memories, and then you won't have to deal with them anymore, right? So this is what, how they're going to pitch it. Just like with the Facebook, look, we can look at your face, see if you're smiling while you're looking at an image. What a great thing. Then you don't have to look at those horrible images of those people that keep posting on Facebook you don't like, you know. Um, you see what I mean? They'll try to sell it as something good when in reality it can be used for far, far worse things. Um, I mean, you could have your mind, all, your memories altered and not even know it. You know, you could have them deleted. This, this is pretty ridiculous. For now, this work is mainly happening in other animals such as mice. But as these initial trials show continued success, scientists are looking forward to potential tests in people while grappling with the <laughs> ethical implications. Okay, yes. We're grappling with the ethical. Uh, we're going to grapple with that, people. Yeah, right. We Just look at our history as, a, as, as humankind. Look at what's happened in the last hundred years. Okay, and think of all the people that have been, been, you know, these crazy ones that have been in charge of certain countries, all this kind of stuff. Can you imagine if they had these type of technologies? What would happen? So this is some crazy stuff. And I told you I had a video, um, I think like uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, about them being able to modify uh genetics in an entire species now they can actually do this i'm, I'm going to just cover this too and then we're going to do the last one the last one even is more ridiculous than this memory one but I, I covered this in a previous video where i talked about uh it's called gene drive where they use crispr technology this just came out very recently they did this test on fruit flies they're able to introduce an uh, a modified fruit fly that has this gene drive technology in it it's an auto editing uh it auto edits the DNA in fruit flies uh, using CRISPR technology. And if they introduce one of them, just one fruit fly with this technology in it into an, in a population, the entire population after so many generations will have the feature that they want it to have. For example, if they want it to have red eyes, they can make all fruit flies in the entire world have red eyes. If they want to have humans to only have male babies, they could actually have this auto gene drive uh, implemented into one person, put them into the population. After so many generations, there will only be men born or, you know, whatever. They could do whatever type of modifications they want. And would in fact, they would, it would essentially affect the entire population of, 
whatever species we're talking about. So that just came out too. So this is the kind of stuff we're talking about. This is some crazy stuff. Okay, now this is the last one. Check this one out, all right? This is just insane, all this stuff coming out. This stuff's all coming out in the last couple months. Top news. Mind control tech. Okay, I already knew, they already had this out. Uh, matter of fact, they were doing tests on this years ago because I did a video covering that as well where they put brain implants into soldiers. Okay, so this is something that they've probably already perfected. And also, the and the... This is, this is crazy. And this is another video I covered too, where they had this one woman who had worked for DARPA that also worked for Google. She was the CEO of Google. Uh, what was that woman's name? I'm trying to remember her name. Uh, just a sec, I'll find it. Yeah, and Facebook. She worked for Google, Facebook, and DARPA. All right, this is the woman. I, I showed a clip of her too. They had this technology already in the past and now they're admitting it, okay? They were using this technology for mind-controlling soldiers, and now they want to implement it into society as well. This is what she was pitching. What if you could type directly from your brain? It sounds impossible, but it's closer than you may realize. Now, to be clear, we are not talking about decoding your random thoughts. That might be more than any of us care to know. But she was talking about using this technology in just surfing the internet through your mind, which is something I covered three years ago that they're gonna be doing this. As a celebration for getting past 100,000 subscribers, I thought I would give away a Samsung Galaxy Tab A tablet to one lucky subscriber I figured I got to give something back to you guys you guys have been faithful to my channel and why not man it's it's a cool item this is not exactly cheap it's actually highly rated a really good quality tablet uh, one of the most popular actually uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab A tablet all you have to do to enter uh, the details should be below the video I might also put it at the end of the video. There might be a little pop-up says how you can enter. Uh, there's actually multiple ways to enter. And it's not like you have to jump through a bunch of hoops. It's pretty simple. Um, you just fill in uh, like your name and email address. And you can also have multiple entries. You can uh, subscribe to my backup channel as an extra entry. Um, you can join my email list for video alerts. Uh, you get a couple entries for that. There's actually a bunch of them. There's like for Twitter, I think there's like eight potential extra entries you can add to it. And of course, if nobody does this, you know, not very many of my subscribers do this, then you have even a higher chance of winning, right? Which is a pretty cool thing for anybody that's uh, gonna go in and actually fill out the details. Uh, like I said, I think it's below the, you know, in the description below the video. And also maybe at the end of the video, you'll see it. So, and I might do this again uh, in a little while because I'm going to hit 200,000 subscribers, hopefully really soon here. It looks like I'm on the way there. And um, I'm at like 188. So I'll probably give away two items next time. Two items. And it might not be this. It, I'm thinking it might be even something better next time. I don't know. You never know, right? Now, this is not cheap either, by the way. This is not a cheap... This isn't something you can get on AliExpress for 50 bucks, okay? <laughs> this costs some money, all right? This isn't exactly as expensive as like an, you know, an Apple, you know, whatever. But uh, it's it's pretty... It's, it's, it's got a price, all right? So I wanted to give it away to one of you guys. Um, one lucky subscriber, you know. Uh, this is to celebrate 100,000 subscribers passing that milestone and... Wanted to give back to you guys. So, and also keep, you know, you can also sign up for uh, alerts for the next sweep six I do. And I might do multiple. I don't know. Um, if I keep going up and up and up, if I, if I get up like even 300,000, 400,000, I'll just keep doing it. You know what I mean? So I think it's kind of cool. I think it's uh, an interesting thing to do. Uh, just check it out. The, the information is in the description below or at, at the end of this video somewhere you should see it. Uh, and thanks for watching.